Oh, what the hell? I'm back in this slow piece of shit. What is going on everyone and welcome to yet again another sick upload unlike the last one which apparently you hated Turns out you don't want good looking people in my videos. You just want this ugly face So that's what you're gonna get the entire video. You did this. I hope you're happy I know what you guys are thinking Max We haven't seen you ride your little bicyclades around the city in so long the sick angles are back Well, not really I want them to be. I moved to Houston because I thought my content would just explode and it just hasn't, but uh, let me explain. Coming to a really popular pizza place right at noon in like a work city area, not a good idea. I'm literally in the back of the line by the pizza boxes. <laughs> Sick. So I moved to Texas for a couple reasons. One, to be close to my friends, two, to expand my business, and three, to be with everyone who makes content. And we would just be making the sickest videos 24 seven, going downtown, eating pizza. It was just gonna be the best. But the thing about all of us, we never leave. Now that I'm in the suburbs, my life has kind of slowed down a little bit compared to when I lived in the city. I mean, I'm pretty much just hanging out in my house all day with dude, making him sit on wacky stuff. Or if I do go to the office, Christian is literally just sitting at the computer 24 seven. You do anything exciting today? Nope. Anything at all? Nope. Anything worth filming? Nope. Any reason why I should be here? Nope. All right, I'm gonna go back downtown. All right, all right see, see you later. later. You see, the problem with social media influencers these days is now everyone does it full time, right? So you started social, you started making YouTube videos, and then you built a business, right? And then the business starts taking over your world and you're like, I don't have time to make YouTube videos. I gotta make sure this business is successful because you gotta pay the bills, you gotta pay employees, you gotta buy toys for your dog. But when the business overtakes the thing that started the business in the first place, it's kind of like, what the heck, man? You gotta get back to your roots. You gotta give people entertainment, right? Because if I'm just sitting at my computer all day, that's not content. You know what's content? Making tons of videos about making YouTube videos and complaining 24 seven. So what I'm trying to say is that I have not been too happy with the way that my YouTube channel has been run recently. And I think the reason for that is I'm trying to do too many things. I need to quit my job of trying to do every single job and get back to what I like to do the most and what I think I'm the best at that no one else can do and that's make some sick YouTube videos. And I know a lot of people are like, Max, it's not about creating content, it's about documenting. I'm like, Becky, I don't want to just document and sit at the computer all day. I wanna make cool videos because the second, the second that I do not enjoy the process of putting out YouTube videos will be the day that I pull a Christian, okay? And I know you guys don't want that. You don't want me to go away, do you? Do you? <laughs> now keep in mind, creating content doesn't always mean going and doing wild things, flying the drone 24 seven. I can still vlog and take you through my day, but I want the shots to be thought out. I want the content to flow. I want you to watch the video and be like, damn, that was sick, dude. Yes, welcome to Cartier, where your dog can drink out of a $4,000 dog bowl. So I guess they, what, they tightened the hinge and yeah, all that jazz. Oh yeah, that's so tight. All right, man, that's it. I appreciate right. it. Thank yeah, you so much. Oh, ho, we are back to flexing on absolutely no one. Next up on my crazy content today is to show you guys motivation. You see this Apple store behind me? I reserved the new iPhone 11 Pro Max 
in the green 256 and they canceled it so I don't have it and everyone has it and I'm gonna show you that if you put your mind to something you can do it so I'm walking in that store and they're gonna have the exact phone that I want or I'm not leaving so sometimes in your journey to never give up and never settle, you have to give up and settle. And they didn't have the green one, so I got the stupid gold one, which I've always like made fun of my guy friends for getting these, because I'm like, that's for girls, man. Uh, but I'm wearing a, a bracelet, so you know, whatever. Also, it took for like every single time I go in the Apple store, like I'm in there forever. I'm like, why can't my intercourse time be this long? Oh yeah, now I get to drive back to Stafford with all of this traffic traffic looking for my chapstick feeling kind of car sick there's a Ford Maverick call myself a true fitness influencer anymore because you know I don't I don't do videos where I'm showing you how to do a lap pull down I'm not being like okay you want to breathe in on this one and then breathe out on the eccentric right I still incorporate it into a lot of my content because I am a fitness guy I'm fitnessing fitness into my life but it doesn't consume it so I try to show you the balance and uh, see what value it adds for that specific story or video that I'm putting out. So today, I'm gonna walk you through my squat routine. So let's begin. Shit! <laughs> yes. Mm. Turn these motherfucking lights up. <laughs> Black hoodie, black scully, black that on white floor. I've been dragging my suits, but back to my roots. I walked in this bitch playing dice for. I still cover my ears when they hype y'all. I got no perspective on your local left. This is bitches beefing on these social networks. Another broken record. I ain't no for checking. I'm a local rep. Said I'm with the locals, yeah. I'm posted with a poster, bitch. You probably got a poster, yeah. I'm not even close to that. I jazz it up, smash and I'm packing up no shoes. Kicked out the building, even tricks with the tricks. Was a trick out the building. I'm in big drops and zip locks. They stick out the ceiling. Let them flip flop and lip. I can you. I'm dealing with a guy, 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 guy. Don't come to me with your problems. Wow. I got way more where that came from, no way. Niggas are bringing under, trying to take me under, see the door. All right, so top set, 405 pounds. We have to work up to a single at an RP8. RP8 means that you could get two more before you would fail. So ideally, I'd be able to hit this for a triple. Now, four or five I've done for like sets of five back in the day, but since my competition, when I hit 501, I've had a lot going on in my life in the past like nine months apparently, and squats have taken a hit. So I have not touched 405. Uh, I can't even remember the last time it is. So we're gonna try to smoke this for a single, and then we'll do some back off sets at 13%, I believe, of a drop down. So you gotta believe, man. You gotta believe in these legs, man. Easy weight. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. Wow, Max, you are so strong. Thanks, guys. So, obviously that 405 moved pretty speedy. I did this buff of a deload, so I think my strength kind of like built up in me. But, instead of going up like if I was on I am on structure of my programming, but I have a lot of travel events coming up, and I understand that might affect my training, so I didn't really want to push this number. I wanted to keep my confidence high. So that's why I just like, let's smoke the 405, do our back off sets, and not try to push it, because this weekend I'm going to Nashville. I'm gonna be there from Friday until Sunday. Then we come back for three days. Then I leave for New York, because we have the Everforward pop-up shop. Again, details on the screen, it's free. A lot of people are gonna be there, it's gonna be sick. I hope you guys can come out to it, but a lot of times, where I always say, make sure that fitness is a part of your life, not everything you do. You need to like know your schedule and know what you have coming up that's gonna affect your training because in a perfect world, I can hit every single session to its full extent, never travel, never deviate from my diet, never drink alcohol, and I'd be the strongest person in the world, but that's just no fun. Oh, hey, dude. Were you in here the entire time I was working out? Um, so I forgot that I have the bicicleta in the back. Uh, 
so dude lost his spot. You're riding up shotgun with me, man. The only one I want at my side. Even though this is not very safe and I do not recommend this. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Come on, dude. All right, dude, I'm going to dinner. You stay here. Don't burn the house down. Be a good boy. Woof, woof. Bark, bark. I love you. What's up, What's up dude? Sweet. Yeah. What do you do with your diet? I'm having two a day. Are you? Yeah. That's more than I eat. Well, imagine that I started making videos again. <laughs> do they, I don't know if they heard that. <laughs> that was good. That, that's probably the funniest thing I've ever done. What's going on, guys? So Christian and I are such good friends that we literally get identical meals while we're out. I've never had the, uh, the lo mein here at P.F. Chang's. Turns out lo mein's just noodles. Never got it before uh, Panda Express. It's fantastic. There's absolutely no way that I'm gonna eat all this food, but my go-to order at the Chang's is Chang's spicy chicken, extra spicy, extra chicken, add broccoli. You don't wanna get broccoli on the side because they charge you for that, but if you just add broccoli to the dish, no charge. But yeah, I'm not gonna eat all this food. What's your fortune, man? Your small act of kindness will go a long way in the next few days. I'm oh. like, what small act of kindness? <laughs> this fortune couldn't be more on point with the theme for this video. I talk about like, I, I'm, I need to focus on like one job, right, because I'm doing everything. Listen to this. Your ability to juggle many tasks will take you far. Whoa! and you'll find a girlfriend by the end of the year. What? All right, so I'm gonna wrap the video up here, take a shower and start editing this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash thumbs up button. Also, hopefully you snagged up some sour strips because they are live or they might be gone by the time this uh, video ends. Um, the, the entire like ending point to the topic of this video about I feel like I'm juggling too much and I need to delegate is I need to hire more people. Right now I have one employee full time. I have a lot of like, you know, marketing people, uh, photographers, things like that. Those are kind of contracts and they work on projects and stuff, but someone that's just like there to help me whenever I need, that is Mona and she is just doing the best job ever. I could not ask more from her. I probably asked too much from her, uh, but she's just doing great. But I definitely need to expand my team because especially with this new candy thing. Um, I'm realizing that I'm behind the computer a lot more and creating content and bringing entertainment to you guys and showing you my life all at the same time and doing it in my own max way is very important to me because if I lose your attention, it's hard to earn that back. So if I put out crap content, you're like, you know what? Max's videos just uh, are kind of going down. Um, you know, it, it'd be hard to convince you to come back, but What's crazy, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what my videos are about because it just matters what the thumbnail and title is. Hey, all right, uh, yeah, that's it. Smash thumbs up button. I appreciate you. And if you don't smash it up for me, smash it up for dude. Goodbye. You know, I never know if he just like really likes licking my ear or he's legitimately trying to suck earwax out of my ear. I'm like, what are you, you nasty dog. See you later.